We should have talked it over, that's all I'm saying. You'll be right stubborn, you. Look, I've done us a favour. Sven's going, we're short on labour, and Ned Glover is a first-class worker. Yeah, and we're going to lose five times more sheep than we have done for years. Ned'll need paying, Joe. Have you thought about that? Oh, of course not. Look, the lad's lost his farm. He'll work for a little bit more on his keep at first. Yeah, well, I suppose you've done right. Oh, thanks very much. You live in a caravan, so he says. Makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, you work a piece of land all your life, and then some accountant comes along, makes you redundant and homeless for a golf course and a bypass. Videos, Viv. We've got to start renting videos. What do you think people around here will be interested? Well, it'll give them something else to do at night other than uh, counting sheep, wouldn't it? Look, I don't want to be seen to be profiting from a tragedy, but it's an ill wind. We ought to relaunch the place in style. Why don't we just put a banner up saying, post-siege, grand reopening, blood-stained and explosive soiled bargains? We didn't cause it, but it happened. And now the place has got to be reopened. I'm telling you, videos and an off-license makes for a night in. We should make some inquiries. And another thing, we should have a couple of bottles of Plonk open on the counter to welcome our customers back. It's hardly in good taste, Vic. Well, all right, maybe not the cheapest Plonk. We'll have something a bit more expensive. You know what I mean. I just don't know about it, really. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll ask the opinion of the first regular that comes through that door. All right. Hi, Eck. This place is looking smart. I'll open three red and three white to start, yeah? Yeah. How's it going, Steph? Oh, great. It's good to see you open again and all. Well, it's good to be open. As a matter of fact, we're having a bit of a celebration. It's a free glass of wine for every customer. What do you think? Well, I don't know about that. That could be seen as discrimination against beer drinkers, couldn't it? Yes. <clears throat> How about that? Spread the news that we're open, will you? I certainly will. And talk about spreading the news. Have you heard about Lynn Wiseley going back to Australia with Sven? That's a bit of a turn up, isn't it? Turn up? It's a tragedy. It's an absolute disaster. I can't think of all that could be worse. I'm sure he'll look after her. Sounds like a good fresh start for Lynn and young Peter. Not worried about that. With a cricket match with Robblesfield on Bank Holiday Monday and Sven's our star all round her. So when's she going then? Tomorrow. And there's a big farewell do at Sports Club tonight. Everybody's invited. There's free beer and all. Oh, right. Well, that's tonight sorted out. Now then, what can we do for you, Seth? You have the <coughs> honour of being the very first customer in our newly opened shop. I don't want to buy a note. I just thought I'd uh, pop in and have a look around. Jack, they're here. You sure you didn't discuss wages with him? Of course I didn't. They're desperate. Good. And so are we. This isn't too clever. Hiya. What do you think? Hello, Joe. Jan? Hi, Jan. Hi. All right, Jack. Glad to see you, Ned. Problems? Yeah. Uh, what do you think of that one? Well, it's a bad way to me, Jack. Well, it's been a bad year so far. Same all over. Look, we don't really need another hand, Ned. But no doubt we can sort out some temporary work for you. The pay's going to be very basic, though. It'll do for now. No doubt we'll get something a bit more permanent. I'll put the word round. Yeah, well, I'm sure we can sort something out. What about our David? He's a good worker for a young'un. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, you can put your caravan up in that field and get settled in. We'll discuss the details later. Like I say, uh, I'm looking for a tenancy, but uh, so you as well, you've got us, eh? Fair enough. But like I said, we don't really need anyone, so the pay is basic. Right, we'll get settled in then. Just shout if you need anything. Cheers, Joe. What are you doing with that poinsettia? Oh, is that what it is? Well, it's dead, and I'm throwing it away. It's not dead in that. It's just lost its bracts, that's all. Bracts? Yeah. Leaves. 
It'll never regain its original colour, but if you repot it and water it sparingly for a few weeks, you'll have plenty of healthy foliage. It's a nice little plant, is that? Oh, right. Well, I'll do that, then. I hear your friends are back. My friends? Who's that? You'll be seeing them tonight. You are going to Lynn Whiteley's leaving, though, aren't you? Yes, I was planning to. Oh. It's them male strippers who you finish up having your picture at local paper with. Nobbies are back. Oh, well, I... Uh, you're in a bit of a fix, aren't it? If you do a U-turn, folk will think you've not gone because of trouble you got into with them last time. But if you do go, they might recognise you. What's that Raspberry Swirl done to deserve execution? Raspberry Swirl? Yeah, that begonia. Draft from that window, a bit death of it. Oh, I didn't realise. Don't they have potted plants where you come from? Yes, of course they do, but I've only really taken an interest in them since we've moved to the country. <laughs> You're going to kill everything. Really, Seth, you come in here giving unsolicited advice and making outrageous statements. I am trying my best. No offence, Mount Love. Any road, are you going to see it nobbies tonight or what? Folk will be wondering. Well, I have no reason not to. Oh, I'll see you then. Yes. Bye, Seth. Bye. Oh, I believe that's called a leopard lily. It's in very good condition, isn't it? It certainly is. It's a death and brachia. And you do know the deadly poisonous, don't you? So don't go eating any of it. I'll see you down at club tonight. Yes. Oh, look, Mum, honestly, that man drives me mad sometimes. Almost as much as Betty and the cleaning. Mum, look, I've decided to leave school. I'm going to get myself a job. I've just been down to the job centre and registered with them. You shouldn't be paying for all this. Let's just say I'm a bit embarrassed at the price I'm getting Lynn's share for. It's the least I can do. Well, I hope she appreciates it. She will, and so will they. How do you mean? I told them if they do a good job here, they may get a chance of uh, catering for our wedding reception in the autumn. Have you now? It's time we did some serious planning. What's there to plan? Ten minutes in the registry office, then Alan Turner's home brew for the toast down at the Woolpack. Our wedding is going to be a first-rate affair, and we have to start now if we're going to get it right. Right? OK. We'll start tomorrow. I'm thinking of asking Chris to be my best man. What do you think? Well, if he agrees, and he can handle it, I think it's a great idea. Good. Right, Jessica, as long as you've thought it through properly, is that all you're going to say? What else is there to say? You've clearly made up your mind. And short of trussing you up and bundling you into school, there's nothing I can do to make you continue your education. I thought you'd go mad. No, I'll leave that to your father. I'm sure he won't disappoint you, being an expert in the field of blowing his top. What are you doing tonight? I don't know. Why? It's Lynn Whiteley's leaving do. Your father can't go. I thought we might go and help give her a good send-off. All right, then. Can I ask Dolores to come as well? I suppose so. Alan, the ramp's looking brilliant. Well done. Well, I can't take any credit for its construction. No, the, uh, you badgered me into it. The construction company built it. They'll invoice me, I'll see the accountant, and the tax man will pay them. Mm. Well, the important thing is that people with Chris's disability should be able to use it. Well, I'm sure it'll be much appreciated. Uh, Kathy, do you think Chris might come down later, try it out? You can ask him. I doubt if you will, though. Well, won't you be here? No, I'm going to Lynn's leaving do. Are you? No. I'd be glad to see the back of that woman. Well, why don't you give Chris a ring and tell him about the ramp? Oh, would you mind? No, why should I? He won't go to Lynn's do, so he might as well be down here than stuck in on his own. Mm -hmm. That'd be, be my guess. Cheers, Alan. <laughs> Are you going to the party, Alan? Yes, uh, I will if I can get staff cover. Yes, sir. Yes, I, I've uh, had my run-ins with Lynn in the past, but I don't bear any ill will to she and Sven. I'll go if I can. So, the least you can do is come down here tonight and give the ramp a try. Or would you rather go to Lynn Whiteley's leaving do? <laughs> yeah, well, that makes two of us. I don't like her either. I hope they're all going to be there tonight. I'm going to enjoy telling them exactly what I think of them. Because it doesn't matter anymore. I'll be halfway across the world by the time they've recovered.
All right, Jack. Just thought I'd see how you'd settled in. Fine. I suppose this is OK, is it? Oh, I eat you, Phil. Just let me know when you're shooting, then I won't think I've got a load of townies roaming about the land. That townies, is it? Yeah, no doubt. We usually get three or four a year. You can shift it next time the tractor and trailer's up here. So, you're looking comfortable, then? Yeah, it's all right for summer, but I wouldn't want to spend winter out here. We'll have a roof over it by then. Don't fret. I hope so. i die for mates so me living here. You'll just be grateful for what you've got. Yeah, it might be an idea if you went to a party tonight. Give yourselves a break, meet a few people. A party? Yeah, one of the locals, Lynn Whiteley, has emigrated to Australia. She's a partner in a sports club. That's where the party is. <laughs> Are you saying we should be getting advice on emigrating to Australia? <sighs> no. No, it's just the other partner, a bloke called Frank Tate. He owns a lot of land round here, including a tourist heritage farm. He might be able to give you some permanent work. I've heard about Frank Tate, and I appreciate what you're saying. But I'm a real farmer. I'm no good with tourists. Well, neither am I, but in this day and age, times change. It's just a thought. And a good one at that, Jack. Oh, I shouldn't sound so ungrateful. Um, look, if you want to ride in with me, why don't you call at the house when you're ready? We'll do that. Thanks a lot. See you later, then. Grunge? Mm, no. Died for me with Kurt Cobain. <sighs> I suppose just something simple will do. Be a lot easier for our party next week. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Great getting the field cheap as well. Yeah, he's all right, that Eric Pollard. I don't know why he was so keen to help us, though. But we should manage 50 quid easily enough. I mean, there's going to be about 50 of us there. As many as that? Yeah, so for about a tenner each, we can rave all night. And if the locals are shot by the nobbies, they'll die next week when there's all night music. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, better than tonight, you can bet. Why are we going tonight? Oh, you must be joking. I mean, how many daughters get to see their prim and proper mothers in such a predicament? She's going to be terrified the Nobbies all remember her and think she's back for more. Oh, you're wicked, you. Do you know, it'd almost be worth turning up to a do just to see her face when we arrive together. I mean, we could tell her. We just want to make sure that she was definitely on her way. Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, let's do it. Uh, hang on, hang on. I I've had far too much to drink. I, I might say something I regret. She's going to be as far away as humanly possible. What does it matter? Yeah, you're right. And we won't have another opportunity like this. Let's do it. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? No. It's never stopped me before. <laughs> How then, Joe? Looks like she's going to end up there to keep that fella. <laughs> reckon we'll ever see her back here again? I don't know. But I reckon we'll still be stuck doing the same things we've always done. You might that sound like it's a bad thing. What's Australia got to offer that Yorkshire hasn't? Oh, sunshine, wide open spaces, good cricket, warm seas, glorious beaches. All right, all right, but I think folks will stay where they belong. And there's more danger getting skin cancer over there. And there's no right to some land they're living on. Maybe so, but that applies just the same over here, you know. I mean, what's the difference between pinching land and buying it to misuse it with golf clubs and car parks and dry ski slopes? You've a right job on you to meet. Why don't you just enjoy yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm getting old. Well, it's an awful thing getting old. Until you consider alternative. Think of that, young man. So, uh, you're on a camping holiday here then, are you? What do you mean by that? Well, what I ask. You said you were living in a caravan in the Sugden's field. It is holiday time. We've been kicked off our farm. And our caravan's the only place we have to live. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope things work out. How many are there up here? There's my mum, dad, me and my two brothers. That's our Dave over there. Roy's only 14. I'd rather go for a walk with the dog than come here. You're very brave moving all that way. I 
I'd be a fool not to go with him, wouldn't I? Uh, well, you'll be back at some point, though, won't you? Once this guy decides to share his way across Europe again. Who knows, Jack? To be honest, once I'd decided to leave, I wasn't that bothered if I ever saw this place again. Come on, I want to show you off on the dance floor. I'm too happy on the strictly ballroom stuff. I, you time. just stand there. I'll do it. that unhappy about leaving, does she? You know, a bit of a wild thing is young Lynn. Frank, uh, Ned Janglover, this is Frank and Jim Tate. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Ned's working on the farm for a while. Ah, glad to hear it, Ned. I know Jack needs all the help he can get at the moment. I think you've just had a few too many lagers. Oh, don't spoil it for me. I want them to be jealous. I reckon you're just in the mood for a payout. I can see I'm going to have to get you an Aussie dictionary. <laughs> You're wanting to have a go at someone, am I right? No. Oh, I'm a lady. Listen, we're having a bit of a rave next week. Why don't you come? Yeah, and bring your brother. And where's it up? Well, from what you've been saying about where you're staying, it's in the next field. There should be about 50 of us. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, all right. Sounds good. Don't forget to tell your day. I'm organising a race night at the back in the next couple of weeks. That really is a big it's entertainment. You're, you're, you're very welcome to come. Oh, I like those. Do you? Never been to one. You're joking. No, I've been to many real race days, but uh, never a filmed one. Well, you'll have to make sure you're at the one at the Woolpack, won't you, Alan? Definitely. Uh, I want that ramp well and truly used. Well, you've only to install a disabled toilet, and you'll have a decent pub. again. He's got a good point, Alan. Well, in time, Rachel, in time. Now, if I may go and enjoy my drink. Put him into coming then. Oh, does he take sugar? All right, I'm just I'm shocked to see you here, that's all. No, we just thought we'd actually make sure she was going. <laughs> You're not going to have a go at her, are you? Absolutely not. Ladies, gentlemen, Lynn, Sven, we are now coming to the highlight of the evening. Yes, the nobbies have arrived. They needn't have bothered for me. In a few minutes, your wildest fantasies will be enacted on stage. Prepare to change your lives. You're going to witness sex and song, flesh and fantasy. In a moment, five young men in their prime who are already oiling their bodies will appear here before you, before your very eyes. Get your drinks now so you don't waste a second later lusting after their bodies. Thank you. Oh, come on, we better go anchor my mother to a seat before the famous nobbies start. you two here. We were invited, weren't we? Of course you were. I want to remember everybody by what they've meant to me in the past. And you two have been especially memorable. Oh, well, we just thought we'd wish you bon voyage. Or is good riddance nearer the truth? You said it, Lynn. Hi, Rachel. Nice of you to uh, come and see us off. Mm, a pleasure. She really means that. Or rather, she means she's really glad to see the back of me, because every time she does see me, it must prick her conscience. What are you talking about? You see, when she was just 17, she seduced my husband. Who should have known better? You just had to, didn't you, Lynn? My husband's brains were between his legs, and she took advantage of him. I spent most of the time listening to him complain about you. Ladies, ladies, let's just pull a plug on this. It's a party for crying out loud. We're meant to be enjoying ourselves. Oh, she is. You've a lot to learn if you don't realise how much she enjoys causing trouble. They're a bitter lot, Sven. God, how I'll not miss them. God help, Australia. They're good, mate. Got no hassle with you, mate. You just don't know what she's like, that's it. This is getting ridiculous. Why don't you just...
Let's calm down and watch the show. What's happened in the past can't be helped, so let's enjoy the night and let bygones be bygones. Yeah, well said, Cathy. Oh, Struth, what do those Sheilas think they're doing? I bet you could beat them at that, couldn't you? No sweat. Hey, Limey, let me show you how to do that properly. <laughs> One, man. shouting about taking anybody on. Would have beaten him. Exactly. But I'd do it for money. The time wasn't right. You're a canny beggar. Aye, I'm that kind of dragged my family down to living in a field. We'll bounce back, don't you worry. Ah, I suppose we will. Good night, Frank. Good night, sir. On the left home, man? Unless you're going to come in with me for a nightcap. Uh, it's in danger of overdosing on orange juice as it is. I'd be happy to see you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, perhaps. All right. Anyway. Oh, 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 The moment I decided to come with you. God, look at the state of them. I'll not miss them for a minute. They'll miss me. At least I've put a bit of colour in their lives, given them something to talk about. Come on, let's sneak off. Well, if that's the way you want it. You all right, Joe? Yeah, as right as I'll ever be. No, we're making a move. Yeah. I should have made a move years ago. Made something of myself. I ought to do it now before it's too late. What are you talking about? Jack, we've got to talk. And I mean, seriously talk. But, uh, maybe not tonight, eh? <laughs> 